On slide, the, in, the, the intro has this doom doom ga do doom doom ga do doom 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 And like this little thing, when I, in analyzing the song, I'm like, how is he doing it? It's not possible because it's like not an open string, but he made it sound like it was. And, and then he came in, his, his tech goes, oh yeah, because that's his tuning. And he plays it. And I'm like, ah. Oh. I picked up playing the guitar when I was 12. You know, didn't, didn't take a lot of guitar lessons and um, sort of started developing my own way of detuning the guitar and playing different. You know, tunings. I said, well, what inspired you to, to create these tunings and find these tunings? Because I don't know. I just started turning the knobs until it sounded like something to me. I was really influenced by, by Bob Mould uh, as, as, a, as a guitar player and, and Joni Mitchell and, oh my God, Jimmy Page. Curtis Mayfield is also a famous person who did this. And uh, the way he describes it, he, when he first played the guitar, it didn't sound like anything to him. I always admired the, the, the alternate tunings that they did. And you sit there and you try to learn those songs and it's impossible. You can't do it. And then um, someone had told me, well, you know, they play in different tunings. I had never heard of anything like that. It's a very inventive thing. Alter the tuning on the guitar until, and then to discover things. It's a way of, like, like Daryl said, it's a, it's a unique sound and a unique approach.